In 1976, in honor of the bicentennial, Spring Lake Park painted the city's water tower with red, white, and blue. That water tower became so indelible, it's part of the city's logo and is the namesake for the city's festival, Tower Days. Well, one man liked the water tower so much, he decided, decided to build a replica in his yard. Danica Peterson has his story. Kevin Babensi lives just blocks from Spring Lake Park's recognizable water tower. I can walk right out in my street here and see our water tower. And now he is a nine foot tall version of that same water tower in his yard. My friend uh, gave me the idea probably at least six months ago. He had mentioned, you know, that I should make something like that. He wasn't convinced at first, but after a few months, he changed his tune. And then after I got to thinking about it, I was like, well, that would be kind of unique. I mean, you see windmills, you see wishing wells, you see other lawn ornaments. And uh, so I kind of took up the challenge and decided to make it. And then he began the process of finding the right parts to create the right shape. I threw this thing together with a wash tub, um, old metal saucer sled on the top, a bottom of a barbecue grill, and uh, there's a pie tin in there, there's a galvanized fence post, a little hodgepodge of everything, I guess. After that, he finished the top with vinyl stars and stripes. I do also fly a flag occasionally, but here, I have a permanent flag. <laughs> and to keep up with flag code, he even put an LED light on the top of it to keep this flag lit at night. Kevin says it has gotten more attention than he expected, but he is happy with how well received it's been in his neighborhood. I enjoy the, the fact that other people enjoy it, you know, and come by and uh, recognize it. And For North Metro TV News, Danica Peterson reporting. You can check out the water tower for yourself in Kevin's yard on the corner of 80th and Van Buren Street.